What's up, boys and girls? Bob the Bible Guy here, a.k.a. Bob the Bible Guy. My real name's Pastor Jeremiah, and it's time for three minutes of thunder. Let's get to it. This week, Pastor continued in his series, Unleashed Part 2. And he opened up with how we need to spend time being community. We need to be a community. And how we need to have unity together as the body of Christ. And how we need to be unleashed and not contained. Now let's take a look at what that means. He talked about how we all need to be on one accord. Now what does it mean to be on accord? Well, I brought an example here for you. So here I got a rope, it's kind of like a cord, but when you look at and you unravel the cord, this rope, you'll actually see, I brought a, brought a tangled up one, you'll see that it's actually made up of smaller ropes that's made up of smaller ropes that's made up of smaller ropes that makes the big rope so that way that big rope is strong and it can't be frail or broken or torn apart and so we need to be just like the cord so that way we can't be we can't be ripped away pulled apart and that way we can be together as a community and be one and some examples pastor used in the Bible to be on one accord was when Noah and his family had to come together and be on accord and that glorified God. And how Esther and Mordecai had to come together in one accord to follow out what God's plan was for their life. How Abraham and Sarah were to be on one accord in trusting that God was gonna bring them a son. And one day through that lineage, it would bring Abraham to be the father of all the nations. And last but not least, Jesus. Jesus came to die for us so then that way we could be sent out. And so that way he singular died, but for all of us as a community. And now we need to be careful that we don't get discombobulated. Whoa, that's a crazy word. It's more like pulled away because that literally leads to everything that can be evil because that'll take you away from what God has planned for you. James 3.16 says, for where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every evil thing. And with your disorder, we can see that evil comes from it. So we have to be careful and not to fall down that path, but stay together as a community. Hey, boys and girls, it is that time. It is time for couch questions. So I need you to get out of the meeting and go ahead and bring your mom, bring your dad, your hamster, your goldfish, anything that has an ear to listen and it's time for us to dive in and get into these college questions so let's go so question one have you ever played a video game like overwatch where you need a team or done a sport or an activity where you've needed a group of people in order to finish or succeed good answer question number two has there ever been a time where you felt alone and wish you had somebody to talk to? Parents, this would be a good time for you guys to have an open, free dialogue to start a conversation. Has there ever been a time where you've been confused whether or not you were doing the right thing? I know I've been in a situation like that. And what I've done is reached out to a mentor and actually prayed about it. This has been three minutes of thunder.